Hey guys, my name is Brian, and uh, I make props and models and toys, gunpla, uh, all sorts of stuff. And I uh, have been getting requests for videos on some of my techniques and some of my ideas, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. Uh, so this is my first video, um, dealing with uh, some sticker uh, situations on one of my current builds. And I hope that you find the information in, like worthwhile. And if you do, feel free to like, um, subscribe, comment, uh, share the video anywhere. And uh, yeah, and we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. All right, let's see how this goes. I am working today to try and remove the sticker shine from my buster. Uh, I've got a couple of products here. I've got some golden medium light molding paste. I got some Liquitex high viscosity matte gel. This shit's Hobby Lobby. When was this bought? Uh, 2001? Yeah, old. Um, I got some brushes. Gotta have those. Brushes, lots of brushes, some little lids to mix my business in. All right, let's see what we can do. Got my gel medium. Look at that stuff. Wow, that's like the glueiest of glues. I wonder if that's even real anymore. Let's take a look at it. A little brush. Do a little digging. Yeah, it looks pretty good still, actually. Now this stuff goes on white, but it dries clear. Uh, and it's usually used to extend acrylic paint. But today we're going to use it to try and mask the height difference between the stickers on the shoulder and the painting that I've already done. Now I'll probably go over this with a matte top coat when I'm finished with it just to try and hide the, the shine. All right, well, here we go. I'm just going to apply it here, as you can see. It's going in, uh, okay. I think I need to apply more. Okay. Uh, Interrupted briefly by Colleen asking me questions. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I can see that it's already tacked up a little bit. Uh, and that's a good thing. It appears now. I'm gonna put this on really fucking thick. Uh, pardon my French. I'm gonna put it on super duper thick, and then wipe it off because it's old, and I don't know how fast this crap is gonna dry. So, oops. So, here we go, sorry, it's off film, off focus, off camera. All right, here we go. Now that I've got it all the heck over the place. Right now in the background where we're listening to Gundam F91, if you recognize it, I don't know if you would or not. Finer toothbrush. Come here, buddy. All right. I'm just going to wipe up some of this. Put my glove here because I don't need it. Just to try and eliminate any weird, like, body buildup that would be visible. Okay. Okay, it appears to be doing what I wanted it to. Try and feather that, there's a little bit of a line on there now, but. All right. Okay, well, I'm gonna let that dry and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, 
Uh, it's had about 10 minutes to dry. It's looking pretty good. I can see that the sticker on the orange cover, the missile pod cover here, oh, is pretty well hidden. I'm pretty pleased by that. I can still see a little bit on this shoulder one. I took the liberty of thinning out my my gel medium so that it flows a little bit better. I'm getting some heavy brush marks that I'm not really stoked on, so I'm just going to put a little on this guy down here as well. And yeah, I think that that is going to work for this particular unit. Uh, I don't know if this is going to help you out or if it means anything, but uh, yeah pretty cool to me and uh hopefully you can apply it too all right here we go looks like crap and dry clear it's amazing go go gadget science all right so a little bit longer time you can see it's nice and matte still got a little bit of angle on that one however i realized that the stuff that i thinned out doesn't do as good a job of hiding as the crazy thick stuff directly out of the jar. So I went back to using that. I went over every little aspect. You can see it's still drying on the insides of the elbows. I even went over some of the dry transfers and that seems to be making them look even uh, more like the paint, uh, like it was painted on. So that's a nice little bonus uh, all right but yeah so uh, put it on nice and thick and then just let it rock and roll um, yeah when uh, when it's all said and done and I have this thing uh, clear coated up we'll uh, get back to it uh, all right thanks guys see ya okay so here we are set up with my little spray booth and getting ready to put some of this Createx matte top coats, my preferred brand of top coat. Uh, it's got a little bit in my, uh, can you see that? Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Good quality, larger needle for the thicker clear coat. All right, here we go. Working on getting a general thick spray on the kit. It's gonna look a little blue before it dries up, but in theory, this should take all of that matte gel medium that we put on there and even out the tone on it. So, hosing the crap out of this thing. All right. Yeah, this is dumb, picking it up with your hands while it's wet. Nobody said I was the smartest guy in the world. Whoa. Plus the more, you know, adding extra layers of clear coat isn't exactly a bad thing. As long as you don't go like a hundred coats of clear, it will add um, depth to the paint job that you put on your kit. Uh, that's just an old painter's trick, especially if you use transparent layers of paint. Between layers of clear coat, you can get a lot of really amazing depth, uh, like an oil painting, uh, the same style. So. All right, there it is. We got some sprayed clear coat on there. I'm gonna let this dry off while, uh, while I go run some errands and we'll be back. Okay, so uh, back from errands and the top coat has dried, um, even though the image is really blown out from my lights being really bright. Um, as you can see, the sticker shine 
the separation is pretty pretty well hidden I have a little bit of buildup from using so much uh, medium on this first part it looks a little weird but I'm gonna add more weathering and that should take care of that you can still see a little bit of that edge so it's not a perfect process but I'm um, from a glance you know it looks pretty clean like uh, yeah they got applied to all of the stickers and all of the uh, all of the dry rubs all of the there were no water slides I was a little disappointed in that I was hoping uh, for water slides but uh, yeah so uh, I'm gonna add some weathering to this uh, and uh, yeah so she should be pretty tight. I'm pretty pleased with what happened. Um, all right, so uh, thanks guys. Once again, I hope this helped you guys out or uh, gave you some ideas to try different things. Uh, usually we uh, roll never stickers, but hey, if there's a way to get around them to make it look good, then uh, why not, right? All right guys, thanks. And I'll talk to you next time, bye.